Karuna Primary School was buzzing. Students from far and wide orbited the classroom, sharing their ideas to improve life in space. Um, so it's a robot, it's called the Meebot, and it like does rob doctor stuff, like does surgery and stuff. Because if the real doctor gets sick, how is the astronaut going to help if they don't have the experience? So that's why we made it a doctor robot, because it doesn't need water or food. From intergalactic GPs to solutions for when your mission doesn't quite go to plan. Me and Oscar are working on self-repairing spacecraft. Um, we, use, we do this implementing nitinol, which is an alloy, which if it gets struck by spacecraft, heat can make it seal. So it'll cost around $88,000. So to cover the entire spaceship, we'll need um, 65 centimetres cubed. While others were preparing for a longer stay away from home. Well, this is to get wood on the moon, basically. It hacks into ice. I researched there's ice on the moon and it scoops it up and then there's a heated vacuum tube. So this is a way to get plants and food on the moon. So you'll gather root moon rocks and then put them in these big tubes. The Kids in Space Showcase is an initiative of the Andy Thomas Space Foundation, the Australian Space Agency and Makers Empire. Alex Johnston, Win News.